What is up guys, Alex here from TechnoClass.com coming to you with a full review of this guy. This is the Transcend SATA M.2 SSD. The model number is the MTS800. Now, M.2 SSDs are not your typical SSD because they are much, much smaller than the typical SSD which comes in a 2.5 inch you know, metal casing. This mounts directly to your motherboard. As you can see right here, this is the actual chip itself which holds 512 gigabytes. There's ones up to one terabyte, of course. Uh, but this is very interesting because these do not require wires, do not require power. They go directly to the motherboard and saves a lot of space. Particularly, they are used a lot for laptops because they are very thin and hold a lot of space. Now, this is the 512 gigabyte variant or about $190 or about 9,000 pesos. We're gonna review this guy right now. We'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, so here's what's inside the box of the MTS 800 SSD M.2 from Transcend. As you can see, we have some leaflets for Apple solutions here for memory cards. We have a warranty uh, leaflet right here, and this is the SSD itself encased in this plastic and anti-static bag. All right, so here is the Transcend M.2 MTS 800 itself in our hands, and as you can see, it is very, very small. As you can see, I'm most likely some of these you know, black chips are the memory capacity chips. And it is super small. Those are the connectors right there. And it's about the same size as my thumb or your typical thumb drive right here, USB thumb drive, except it's maybe a little smaller. I mean, maybe a little longer. Uh, but that's also particularly because this is the MTS 800 variant. Now that actually means that 800 is 80 millimeters or about eight centimeters. There are a variety of lengths of uh, M.2 slots and supporting uh, those are tip different l motherboards and laptops and stuff like that. You will have to actually check your motherboard manufacturer or laptop manufacturer if they can support the 80 millimeter version of the M.2. There are ones that are 20, 40, 60 millimeters and 80 and plus, I believe. Uh, but most manufacturers will support the 800 millimeter at least. Now, as far as the design goes, this is pretty typical of any M.2 product. It's basically a green PCB with chips soldered onto it with a connector on the end. Now, it has to be said that this is not designed to be handled day in, day out like a typical SSD with, you know, a nice metal case on it. And this is just meant to be mounted on there and left alone because, number one, you don't want to get static onto this thing and you want to handle it carefully when you're installing it because static can damage the parts not like a typical ssd with a metal cage on it there is a lot more protection also you know if you are building a system and this is visible you will see that it's very green and it actually is you know pretty evident when you're building a black and you know red system like mine is uh, however installation is pretty easy mine goes underneath the graphics card and just plops in there screws in there and everything is fine, the, the BIOS recognizes it no problems at all. Once installed, the system will recognize the drive as a typical SSD SATA drive, but your motherboard will have to be compatible with M.2 SATA SSDs, of course. You will need to figure out if your motherboard actually accepts these, and the standard that needs to be uh, accepted is the SATA 3. All right, so how does the Transcend MTS M.2 SSD perform? Well, it performs just about the same as a SATA 3 drive, any SSD. I did a 548 megabyte per second read and 465 megabyte per second write on Crystal Disk Mark versus our internal SSD Samsung 850 EVO that got 540 MB per second and 504 MB per second write. So it's pretty close up there with even some of the best SSDs around. And it hits the rated performance on the website that says 550 MB and 450 MB. So it does pass all performance checks. 
All right, guys, so I think that's about it for our review of the MTS-800 from Transcend. Uh, the pros are, number one, there's no clutter of cables compared to the 2.5-inch SSDs. They can save more space on thin laptops, and particularly some laptops only use M.2 to save space. Uh, there's a great variety of storage space here that starts from 64 gigs uh, going up to 1 terabyte, and you're getting SSD level performance, about 550 read and 400 plus write. Now, now we're talking about the cons. Number one is it's a little bit more fragile than the SSDs with you know 2.5 inch cases because number one they're protected from static and also you can kind of mishandle this if you're not you know careful uh, because the chips are uh, exposed to the elements. Number two just slightly more expensive than a typical SSD the one a terabyte version no I believe in the 500 gig version is about 9,000 pesos compared to a typical SSD a good quality SSD is about 8,500 so just I paid about ten dollars more for this kind of device but you do have to make sure that your motherboard is compatible now the last thing and this is not so much a con but an aesthetic thing it's super green the PCB is super green so that means if your M.2 is visible from your motherboard and let's say your motherboard was black, then this sticks, uh, sticks out like a sore thumb. So that's kind of a, a, an aesthetic thing. All right, so what's the verdict? Well, M.2 SSDs are a convenient thing and uh, smaller form factor PCs or laptops will definitely take advantage of the smaller size of the drive. Transcend's version here is a perfectly fine example, and it performs as rated, and it's priced quite competitively, actually. You can still go with, with a typical 2.5-inch SSD with cases, but if you need something compact or something that won't clutter up your setup with, you know, wires and power supplies and stuff like that, then this M.2 from Transcend is highly recommended. So, there you go. We highly recommend the Transcend M.2 SSD MTS 800. Just make sure your system is compatible first before you buy it because there's a lot of standards that you need to meet. All right, guys, that's it for me. Alex from a Techno Class at Com here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.